Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part one of the build of the LEGO Ideas NASA Apollo Saturn V. This is set number 21309-1969 pieces. That's 1969. That's the year the, um, the rocket was launched. This is an enormous box. It's so tall. The set is a completed model of 100 centimeters or just shy of 40 inches. So almost three and a half feet tall or long, um, 100 centimeters. That's a, a meter. So it's gonna be uh, ridiculously big. So, um, let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's go ahead and build it. That's what we're here for. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a struggle to kind of keep this in the camera view because it's so big that I don't know how, how it's all gonna work out. All right, so there's all of our parts. We have a big book that is in its own little bag. There's no sticker sheets that I can see. So the good thing about this is it looks like they broke it up into quite a few numbered bags so we can break the build up pretty easily. Let's see what do we got here, seven. Four, there's a ten, six, and three. All right. So let me move all of those bags around. Okay. So move the camera a little bit as well. Like I said, this is going to be interesting how we're going to build this whole thing so let me start with opening bag one part and there's a small bag of parts as well there we go Now we're going to open up our bag with the instruction manual in it. Okay. So, looks like we are good to go. So the book has, similar to some other idea sets, it has a lot of kind of informative stuff in here as well as some pictures of, uh, looks like the original Apollo launch or loading of it to launch. Oh. Is that the picture of it launching? Yeah. Has a couple different languages as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm gonna move the brick separator out of the way. We don't need that yet. Hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes and we can easily build this. So we start with this round four by four brick with these half round plates on it. <clears throat> so the trick with this model is you have to create a very sturdy round model unlike just stacking around bricks that will break apart pretty easily so we have to figure out how to make this very sturdy or i guess the designers did and that's what we will experience as we build it is how sturdy it's going to be so you can see right now we're putting a technic brick on a jumper tile with this bracket and then the bracket that has the studs on the side, we're facing it down. So our jumper 
I mean, our Technic bricks are facing whole side up, which is already a little bit different than normal. Usually those face side by side. So then you can see the way the bracket pieces are lined up. They're just right on the outside of that. So next we have four white studs. Two, three, and four. These tall tan bricks. And then on top of the tan bricks, we have this modified plate with studs on the side. So now those studs should line up perfectly if I try to. Yep, they do. So if I try to put something on there, lines up perfectly. Now it seems a little fragile the way that these are just hanging out like that. I'm sure we'll fix it up. All right, move that to the side. I'm gonna move some of these large panels to the side as well. Make some room. So now we have another four times build. I'm wondering if this set is gonna get very repetitive like this, where we build a lot of the same stuff over and over again. Is hiding under that. All right, so on top of each one of the studs, we put this piece. So that's kind of interesting. Now we have dark bluish gray, quarter round panel, white one. You basically have to make sure that those are straight because there is a center stud that's connected to that jumper tile. plates two more here and then we're going to put a one by six across this one we have four more of these brackets with a jumper tile on it all go like that. Next is a tan half round shape. that stays on. So over here you have to make sure that these are all lined up or else it won't go on right. So they do move a little bit. We'll kind of 
leave it as is because I'm sure we'll attach some stuff to it. All right, so next we have this cone shaped brick. Go right here. And a brown plate on top. Okay, so this one shows two blue plates there. Those pieces here and here. I have another two times build. This is going to have a black and a white pile on it. does show these sticking up taller. You can see these are just a little bit taller than that one. That is the way it shows it in the instructions. All right, so something's a little screwy here. I don't think it matters. I have my Colors in here mixed up for some reason. Actually, if I move it, no. No, I'm not gonna worry about it, it's good. All right, more brackets here and here. tiles all around this bracket. Now we have these modified plates with the clip. They're also going to go all the way around here. Brackets want to fall off. They don't have much clutch power at all until you get other things interconnected with them. is attached all the way around it. All right. So, kind of done with this for now. It shows it put off to the side and we're going to begin another little section. So, let's begin that now. This is going to start with this 6 by 6 plate attached various plates, Get some green cheese slopes, and we have our little modified plates with the studs on the side. Two wedge 
plates. And more of the brackets with the jumper tile. show these attached all on top of the stud. So these studs have the hole in the top. That's what allows this to connect to it right in the middle. So with that, like that, start attaching these round panels. Alternates color. jumper tiles on the brackets that looks good with the studs on the side go on this 4x4 four four plate with this thing right here and that goes right there all right now it shows this brought over and attached See, it's kind of the internal guts of this rocket. This little booster stage, I guess, right here. Now, it's not really being held on with anything right now. So we'll have to get that in the next bag. So that completes bag number one. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to bag number two. All right, we have all of our bag two parts out. And uh, before we move on, I wanted to show you that I did go back and reorient these pieces here because it was kind of bugging me. The instructions show the colors of these curved panels to line up like this. And what I did is I actually had these on um, the wrong brackets. That's all it really was to fix it. it wasn't that big of a, a deal. All right, so. Next up, we have a four times build. So they show four of the same thing being built. It starts with these plates. Turn the page. We're going to attach some bricks to them. Another plate here. So it's basically. If anyone watches a lot of my videos, you've seen me do a lot of these type of builds. I'm kind of building them all at the same time. I think it's just easier than going back and rebuilding something. Although it does make it seem repetitive. I don't know. In my mind, it seems to go faster. Okay, so what we have now is these black bricks that have a little 
click hinge piece on it. That goes there. And we have a white one with the same click hinge piece. And then that goes there. We have these black curved slopes, white curved slopes, and a printed one. So this one has the letter A on it. And then a couple wedge bricks. So that's our first one. Basically need to repeat those steps. pieces in this set. So there's no stickers, remember when we opened it. Um, it's kind of one of those things that uh, I like to see is no sticker sheets. And we don't have one in this set. So the black piece there. one using these pieces so that uses up all of these particular ones printed use. There's one. All right. U and S. And another brick there. All right, so we have six of these grill tiles. Here, and we have this plate on the underside. that three more times. Exposed two rows of studs exposed. It's 
kind of how I'm looking at it. Make sure I have it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, two rows exposed. backwards on this one starting from the top and going down you know change it up a little thing a little bit a little variety actually had that off by stud changes it up and I got it wrong okay so there we go and bam, my fingers are hurting now. So bring our rocket back over. Knew that was gonna happen. This is a little flimsy. Actually, it's not a little flimsy. It kind of is a lot flimsy right now. So let me reorient this. Oops. Um, all right, so we're going to take each one of these and it should line up with everything above. Connect just like that. So the only tricky thing about it is these little telescope pieces. You have to make sure that those line up. Actually, all of these jumper tiles are a little tricky. I don't know they should line up. Let me do the opposite side first. That bottom one is the tricky one. I can get these lined up at the top. Lines up with that telescope brick, and then these bottom ones can be a little tricky. All right, so check that out. It's actually starting to get pretty big. It feels like it's getting a little more sturdy now that it's interlocked to this piece. That piece is not coming off. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of keep it laid down so I don't bump it and knock it over. So let's move on to our third bag right now. Okay, with all of our bag three parts out, we do have another four times build. Start with some plates here. Right underneath there. So that's kind of the beginnings. Get all that caught up before I turn the page and the instructions. Two, 
three undecorated ones. Then we have the US flag. And then another, whoops, that's a flag. Another undecorated one. And on the other side, it's all undecorated slopes. Cool. So we have to remember to start with a, a one by. total count of all these slopes that we're gonna get in this set. It's already a bunch. The set is really not a bad price for the amount of parts that you get. It's just shy of 2,000 pieces and it's um, I think a $120 set. Now the pieces all, as of right now, look pretty basic, but there's a lot of cool printed pieces. So I think it's a great value so far. I'll be the judge of that in the end. But right now, just looking at all of these cool pieces, I think it's well worth it. I need, oh, there it is. I was about to say I need my printed piece. So, bring this back over. And this, how does this go on? Okay, it attaches right here. There's actually no bracket up here at all for it to attach to. just attaching to that plate. So with it attached there, we're not gonna put anything on it yet. I'll carefully move it to the side. We have some more of these red brackets. Jumper tile, round brick, another bracket jumper tile and a stud. And you guessed it, we're gonna build four of those. Was the last one. Wishful thinking, I guess. And there we go. So this all attaches to the studs there. being very gentle with this because it's really not that sturdy just yet. We have these little Z-shaped bricks. Putting a bracket on each one. All right, so this is what's gonna help. Hold, oops. Missing a brick. So the bottom side of each one, we need one of these tan bricks, or else it won't attach to anything. Okay. 
So now, that's going to attach to those studs on the side of that brick. And then you can see that clip piece clips on there and holds that piece on. Very carefully, going all the way around it. This is what I was worried about. That stuff falling off now. Okay. So all my bracket pieces are falling off. I don't know why they had us put those on just yet because they don't um, they don't attach to anything and until you have something attached to it it's it's really hard to to keep it on all right so I have all those back on it still feels very fragile all right so we now have some half round shaped plates once again very fragile <laughs> I don't know how this is supposed to go on right, All right I'm gonna move this up so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do so these pieces keep falling off I think they're going to keep falling off until I get one of these on. So let me try to get this on real quick. There we go. So see, this is where we should have put these pieces on. So now, put those pieces on. And now, put the half round. See, that worked a lot better. Because I was too worried about knocking these off. But they were on, I think, one step too early. And now that I was able to just put those on and then quickly put that piece on top, it, um, it, it made it go so much easier. So now where these pieces connected, we're going to attach the other slopes. So those will help hold those together. good so up here looks like we're gonna repeat the slope detail but do the black and white alternating colors Four studs. These studs have holes in the top. And lastly, we have these little 90 degree angled plates. It's like old school brackets. All right. So there you go. down a bit so we can kind of see it's definitely a lot more sturdy now now that we've got all of that connected up throughout it so um yeah i definitely feel like i can i mean i'm kind of squeezing it twisting it a little bit and it's not moving at all so that's going to complete this portion of the build we're basically going to probably have four parts to this build this being part one so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the other parts and we're going to continue on building this um, if you watch this the first day then part two will be up tomorrow and so on if you're watching this way in the future then all four parts are up so 
check them all out. And we will see you in the next one.